Sometimes I don't feel alright. New girl on my face, she says she needs a bite. That's why I don't feel alright. Catch me in the good mood. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Brandon Palmer here. We are at the shores of North River Golf Club. A um, little different start to the day than I had hoped. I was hoping to come out here and really uh, film, do some lessons, some drills, stuff like that. Like do a play all day kind of rate. Uh, I was foolish and didn't call for a tee time. Now the course is packed out here. I slid out in front of a, uh, a four or a five some at this little executive course here. And so now, yeah, par on the first. You guys just saw birdie on the second. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the third hole, par four, 308 from the blues. Let's see. Let's see here, over all this water, it's gonna be a nice course today. We're gonna be able to really work on our short game and mid irons. So, let's get to it. Right, so we saw in that shot that the tee box was a little wonky. I want to make sure when we're hitting the tee shots, we find the flattest part of the ground or that we, we at least know what the slopes are going to do, uh, how they're going to affect how the club reacts to the turf or how the ball comes off. So knowing those little things definitely help and especially aim off the tee. As we can see, let's hope it focuses. As you can see, all the water. So. Right up the middle of the fairway, played a fade. Definitely kept myself out of trouble. All right, we've got about 110 yards. I have a nice smooth pitching wedge here. Nice little choke down pitching wedge. We're into uh, the wind and it's a back to front sloping green. So we're gonna wanna take some spin off it, club up, smooth it nice and easy. Pick our intermediate target, get our feel. Not bad, a little long, a little bit of a mud ball. Thank you. Are you just by yourself? Yeah, I'm just out here hey, practicing. You, mind if I tag along? you can tag along or play right ahead through. It doesn't matter to me. I'm playing two balls and just practicing and stuff. So. Sounds good to me. What's your name? Fred. Fred Brandon. Brandon. Nice to meet you. Glad to meet you. Beautiful day. Oh, it's perfect. All right. Not sure how much you can hear me. We're on the fourth hole. And uh, a single that was behind me came up. I'm gonna tag along, so 
we'll see. I don't know if he's playing 9 or 18, how long we're going to stay together, but uh, we'll see how much I film from there. Just left the green. All right, we got some tree trouble here, so I got the choice to go over it, around it. Got a 54, about 70 yards. Go right over it. third shot after that uh, little mishap on the second up and down for par keep moving nice ball thank you so not bad on the fifth we got my ball right here it's about 280 from the blues hit three wood so this is what I'm talking about. I'm now practicing these no man land shots from 60 yards, these tough shots. Whereas if I hit a four iron, five iron, something off the tee, I could have anywhere from a hundred in it. But let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're fat, they're grainy, and they're fast. so easy uh, I try what is that club you're using oh uh, this is a pitching wedge oh uh, my pitching wedge doesn't work like that <laughs> <laughs> that's why I add because yeah. mine doesn't work like that oh it didn't hit slow it slow up that hill yeah. I had it but didn't hit it Yeah, I used to always use a lob wedge or a 58 degree or something and try and hit those high in the air. 
there's just so much room for error. So now I'm, I'm learning to use the pitching wedge and just kind of keep it low and back and through almost like a putting stroke. Yeah, I so mean, it takes out a lot of. Uh, you make it look pretty easy. Thank you. I think you found the right one. <laughs> I would say that guy's probably about over uh, over 300. No, no. Okay. I was gonna say maybe 250. Okay. Well, that would be the landing zone for this club. <laughs> yeah. You'd wake him up. <laughs> Clinic. <laughs> oh. Oh shoot. Off the green. <laughs> wow. Good pot. Thank you. Love that. <laughs> uh. I know who to come to when you got a best ball tournament. <laughs> you got a ringer. <laughs> oh nice pot. On to the back, my friend. It up. I landed just behind that big tree. That, that banyan? Yeah. Who, who knows? Yeah, nobody. Well, somebody does. Somebody. Before each shot, make sure we're cleaning the grooves, make sure that face is good. Let's go ahead, we got about a 50 yard shot, 54 degree wedge. There's weird, weird grass here. I don't know what it is. It's real spongy and like weedy. Hopefully it comes out good. Dad found out we lost, we lived on a farm. Mm -hmm. When he found out what Tony paid for that, he almost blew a huge. 
Oh no! Oh, better. 